Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo from Tozawa Tanks. Now a lot of you have been following my channel for quite some time so you know that I have had a fish room for a long time and that fish room has changed quite a bit over the years. It went from being a very small kind of work fish room where I just had a few tanks to growing to where I kind of got that multiple tank syndrome and had about 35 or so tanks in this room. Did some more changes, made some tanks more aesthetic and uh, did some expansion etc. Um, but the whole time there were a couple problems with that fish room and uh, we addressed those with the recent remodel. Now the first issue that we had with the old fish room was the way that it sounded. Now um, if you recall and if you don't remember if you're new to this channel I will put a link up here of the uh, most recent video of my fish room so that you can see the way that it looked and uh, you can tell now that there's a big difference. So the first issue we had was sound. Um, I, had a de I have a de dehumidifier in here but it's placed in another location now and the dehumidifier had to be turned off in order for me to uh, film because it was very noisy. I had another fan running that was also blowing air loudly and it was also creating kind of a lot of background noise. In addition to that, we didn't have any sound dampening in here. I tried putting panels on the ceiling that didn't look good and it didn't really work. And the walls were basically like an echo chamber. I had these silver walls that were just kind of reflecting sound back and forth and it wasn't ideal. Um, the central air system was louder, the bubbles were louder, there was a lot of things that weren't ideal and I didn't feel like it really promoted a very enjoyable experience when you were watching my videos. The other thing that I would agree is that my fish room was not very aesthetically pleasing. Now everyone has a different taste as far as what you like with fish rooms and fish tanks etc. So everyone is going to have a different opinion but pretty much unanimously everyone thought that my fish room wasn't the best looking fish room. A lot of you commented that it looked like the inside of like a walk-in freezer or a walk-in refrigerator or like a trailer or a container because it was silver and it just it had like these, these uh, insulating walls that were silver. I had you know PVC pipes and hoses running all over the place and it just it was functional but it didn't look great. So we've addressed both of those things as well as all the funky little lights that I had before, my hanging shop lights and all that stuff. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with all of you the changes that we've done here. Some of them might be very subtle, some of them are very drastic, which you will see, and some of those are yet to come. So there are a few things in here that I haven't completed. I've gotta put in some backgrounds, I've gotta change some airline, I have to do some paneling in here, but I didn't wanna make everyone wait like three or four more weeks for that to be done. I wanted to give you uh, an update and show you what was done, and then down the road I will make videos and show you the upgrades that we're doing. I'll even teach you how to do it because some of them will be DIY. So uh, anyway, before we go around and uh, do the tour, I do wanna thank uh, a couple people. now. This is kind of a sponsored video, um, not in the sense that I got paid to do this, um, but this entire project was funded by Aquarium Co-op. So AquariumCoop.com basically sponsored this entire fish room rebuild, purchasing all of the equipment, the lighting, the materials, uh, and time. And then also Dean from Dean's Fish Room, Dean Twedell, also uh, a lot of you know him from uh, the Master Breeder series and stuff like that from Aquarium Co-op. He also offered his time and, and resources and expertise in doing a lot of the building and the plumbing and all kinds of stuff like that. So thank you both to Corey at Aquarium Co-op and to Dean for the time and effort spent on, and, and the money as well, in uh, putting this fish room together. So if you wanna show them some love, you can go ahead and uh, check them out. I'll put some links down below. And of course, to your shopping at aquariumcoop.com. But uh, anyway, now let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna grab a camera and take you guys around and uh, show you the new updated Tozawa Tanks fish room. In the thick of it. Say hey, Dean.
start off by talking about the walls because that's probably the biggest change that uh, everyone is noticing. These are actually special um, soundproof walls. Um, it's like a soundproof uh, blanket essentially that's used in recording studios and um, other areas where you need to have optimal um, sound deadening. Um, they're used to block sound, they're used to you know, catch sound waves and uh, they're actually very heavy so these are like super super thick each blanket is like 10 pounds so we had to do kind of some heavy duty um, bracing up top in order to attach these and uh, not only is it helping with the sound but it helps with the look so no longer are we staring at these bright silver walls that look terrible so now we just have this nice black everywhere that really makes you focus on the aquariums and not have you drawn to all the craziness that was on the walls with the silver and everything. The other thing that you might notice, especially as we go over here, if you remember how it used to be, is there's no more duct work or any of the PVC showing. So if you recall, I do have a central air pump and we, we, um, we uh, provide air to all of the tanks through one central air pump. As you can see, some of these airlines coming down what we had before is we had all these uh, PVC pipes along the ceiling. We cleaned that up, so all of that is now hidden behind these sound blankets. So um, all that ductwork, if you remember all the dryer ductwork and all that stuff before, that's all gone. It's all nice and clean, so we're not having to stare at these ugly silver pipes and silver walls. We are just looking at a nice black background and focusing on the tanks. Um, you can also see that we kind of blacked out some of the vents. So I've got a heater uh, vent coming in here uh, because I heat the room. I don't heat tanks. So none of these aquariums have heaters in them. They all are heated by the room itself. And then I also have my little DIY dryer vent that um, comes out here as well so that when we do laundry, it gets a little bit extra warm. So uh, that's one of the big things. The other thing that's really, really big down here and probably the largest expense are all the lights. So if you notice, if you remember before, we had um, kind of every tank had a different light. Some of them had LED lights, some of them had LED strips, some of them had those ugly shop lights kind of hanging down, um, if we recall. And again, you can look at that video that I posted before. But uh, now that's all gone. These are all Phoenix Stingray lights. Here, as we can see a good one here. These are the first generation Stingrays, not the newer one, which is a little bit more bulky. These are the original uh, Phoenix Stingray lights. Very inexpensive, so you can uh, shop for those um, in the uh, link that I'll provide down below. And we have Phoenix lights on every single tank, so they are all now matching there's no more like a mismatch of lights we do have one extra space because we ended up adding a tank so we've got to get one more light here and uh, but everything is matching the other thing that's really cool about this is that it's all controlled by my phone now so we put everything on wi-fi timers um, for some of you this may not be new but for you know people like me that weren't playing with the wi-fi timers before it is new so i actually have an app on my phone which may or may not show here but uh, i can just hit the button and turn the lights on or off, just like that. As I can turn it on, turn it off, and they're all on uh, these Wi-Fi timers, and I can program each one individually. So if I wanna have, let's say, these ones come on first at a certain time of day, I'll do that. Maybe these will come on later in the day, depending on how many plants I have. Maybe these come on later, etc. So. All of them are on timers. Um, you can see here we also have this, remember before there was a window back here and this ugly shop light hanging down. Now we have this nice little drop pendant light that's a shining light on the mangroves there. So they have light as well. So that is a big part of the job was just doing all this stuff for the walls. That was so much work. Um, there's still insulation behind. Um, you can see the door used to be silver. Now it's all covered in this uh, soundproofing. Um, so not only is it sounding better, but it also is looking better. And it's also warmer in here because these are also insulating. So that is a big change. But the biggest change is right over here. Now, if you remember before, if you've been watching this channel, you know that I had like this big curtain kind of right in this area, blocking off this area where I had a bunch of junk stored, extra tanks and lights and all kinds of nonsense. 
and uh, people used to tease me about having a grow room back there, which I didn't. But uh, anyway, we opened that up. So we took all that fake wall down and we opened all the space up. Now let me turn on the lights real quick because that's gonna make more sense here. All right, turn the lights on. Oh, that was another upgrade. We put some new light fixtures in. So anyway, one of the things that uh, I didn't have before is I didn't have a sink in my fish room, which is crazy when you have all these aquariums and you don't have water in your fish room. On the opposite side of this wall right here is where I did have a sink and I used to have to draw water from behind there in the garage into this room. But now we plumbed in a sink so I can actually have hot and cold water or a mixture right here in my sink. And I can do water changes there. My um, dehumidifier pumps right back into here as well. So it's very nice and tidy. Now right now this area is not looking great because it's not finished. This is kind of an unfinished area. I have to buy some shelving that's gonna go right here where I'm gonna kind of display some product, some of the fish foods that I'm using, stuff that's sponsored. Um, also hang up some artwork and then uh, all these uh, camera stuff right here that normally goes upstairs. Um, I'm gonna find something a little bit more permanent for down here that's like mounted to the ceiling or the wall, some kind of tripod system. But for now I just put this uh, down here because I was filming. But but normally this would go upstairs. And later on, I might put something here, some kind of small better rack or something. I'm not sure exactly what's gonna go here yet, but uh, this is gonna be kept nice and clean. Got my utility sink, I've got uh, some storage over there, and then I'm gonna have a shelf right here where I'm going to uh, display stuff and have a fan, and uh, this will be all cleaned up. And then back behind that curtain is where my dehumidifier is. And so that is actually blowing out in this direction and coming around, and that's warming the entire room. So um, a huge improvement in here. I really do love it. Uh, we got this furniture, so uh, we went to I Ikea and got new throw rugs, got some uh, new seating in here, so it's super comfortable. My wife came down here the other day and she wouldn't leave. She just plopped down here and just kind of sat there and, you know, enjoyed the room because it's so quiet in here now. It's beautiful, it's comfortable, it's a perfect temperature. So just tons of fun. I love this lights, the lighting in here, um, much better than what we had before. So that is kind of what's going on. Now, one of the things that I have to do still um, I've got to kind of uh, do some more blackening in here. And I'm also going to be addressing these uh, these uh, stands. So as you guys know, I do the concrete DIY stands with uh, two by fours, et cetera. And this is you know something that a lot of people do. It's very common, it's very easy to make, but it doesn't always look great. So I'm gonna be addressing that. We're gonna be dressing these up to make them look really nice blending in with the whole decor in here so that we're not going to be staring at concrete all the time. It's going to get a lot more tidy. I've got to go through and change some of the airline tubes to black tubing. I got to put in some backgrounds in here and tidy it up. But for the most part, you know, we're probably 85%, 90% done in here. Uh, I'll probably build a panel to hide that FX4. And this tank's going to get a huge makeover. So that's nothing. That's something else that's uh, in the future that I think you guys are really going to love. I've got some really good ideas about that. And uh, here's the mud skippers. There's kind of a hint of what's to come. So anyway, it is very enjoyable down here, and uh, much, 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 much better than what we had before. Well, I hope you liked the way the new fish room looks. I hope you like the way the new fish room sounds. Uh, I have to actually adjust the way that I'm speaking. I don't need to be yelling or speaking so loudly before as I did before. So uh, that will be an adjustment. Um, but anyway, I hope you like it. Uh, I definitely do. Very, very enjoyable to be in this room. It's comfortable. It's quiet. It's it's just great to be down here. It's like a perfect like 78, 79 degrees. So you can just hang out here in like a t-shirt and shorts and, you know, look at something on your laptop and just kind of take in all the fish. So very, very fun, very enjoyable. So uh, anyway, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. If you need, do need to buy any of the products that were used in this video, um, I will put a link again down below to aquariumcoop.com and they actually have the lights and the airline tubing and all that kind of stuff. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.